Good afternoon, everyone. It's Anifa Menon from HeartHealthBrainHealth.com, encouraging healthy grieving and mindful actions. Today, I am going to focus on the sacral chakra, and this chakra is literally found about a hand's width under the belly button. So a hand's width under the belly button. This area is all about nurturing, creativity, relationships, sexuality, and it's such a wonderful area to draw energy to. Now, remember I had just talked about the root chakra before this video, and the root chakra was all about the foundation and stability. So for most of us, as we're growing in life, our foundation or stability stems from the circle that we grew up with. So it could be largely, it's usually the family circle. It could be a friend circle. I mean, there are people who grow up in orphanages, right? There are people who grow up with just a sibling. And you would take it into account as to how you grew up. That's going to be your nurturing foundation. So the first thing to remember is you need that strength there. So it doesn't mean that the relationships have to be perfect, but it does mean that it takes a mindful attention towards healing whatever energies you may be carrying about those baseline uh, foundation relationships. At the sacral chakra, when we're moving up to build up our system, we can learn that this area is about other relationships. So you think about sexuality. So of course, right away, people are now looking at other relationships, right? So other relationships, sometimes it's relationships with the self, but most of the time, this is the time for connecting with others. So relationships with others is very important. Then we've got creativity, we've got nurturing. So I found this great quotation by um, Albert Einstein and the quotation says, creativity is intelligence having fun. And it's so true, right? So, of course, if we're moving into sexuality, there's some having fun, I'm hoping. And this is intelligence having fun, right? That you realize that you can nurture your own system and you can nurture others from this energy. Now, this is the energy of relationships. This might be the time that people are becoming parents because, of course, creating a baby is in the space, right? So this is a wonderful energy to recognize that ah, that's creation. That's really true creation, isn't it, that you're participating in. Whether you're the male or the female, there is a participation in creativity there. Then there's also the nurturing energy, the nurturing for the self and others. Now, remember I mentioned that I want to talk about thoughts, words, and actions. So what are the thoughts that you nurture yourself with? Are you speaking kind thoughts? Are you speaking loving thoughts to yourself? Because those are nurturing. They're encouraging. They show you care about you. And then there's the nurturing thoughts and actions and words that come out of you towards others. Are you nurturing that way? So remember, it starts with yourself. Make sure that your cup is full and that this can then flow over to everyone else. And that is a fantastic place to be in, in terms of recognizing that creativity and nurturing. And on that note, I found, of course, another matching quote, which I loved. And this quote is by Julia Cameron. This quote says, the essential element in nurturing our creativity lies in nurturing ourselves. The essential element in nurturing our creativity lies in nurturing ourselves. So if we don't have more than enough to work with, when we try to do anything that's nurturing or creative outside of us, it will fall a little bit short because most often, or a person will feel very drained from doing it. So in that sort of idea, so not energized. And you know, I'm all about making sure we've got energy and this is the whole process of building up our chakra energy. If we are making sure that we're in a very strong space, we can then nurture ourselves and others, right? So this awareness of how are you thinking, how are you speaking to yourself, how are you acting towards yourself and then towards the world, this requires some building and a mindful attention to do so. What do you do to nurture yourself? How do you think? How do you speak? How are you acting that nurtures yourself and then nurture the world? And from that, comes creativity. And so I thought I'd end with a quote that I thought very much matched me. And this quotation is by Dorothy Parker. And the quotation says, creativity is a wild mind and a disciplined eye. A wild mind and a disciplined eye. Now, what does that mean? Oh, well, you know, the wild mind is the mind that can think outside of the box, right? Most people would look at this mind and say, that's ah, a little crazy. <laughs> 
And I love thinking outside of the box. I love it. I love thinking outside of the box in a way that nurtures others and is creative. This is my creative expression. This is nurturing myself and then others. But this wild mind, that thinking just outside of the box that allows my creativity is beautiful. And then the disciplined eye. The disciplined eye is required in creativity even because you're able to zero in onto the thing that is most important or most unique to yourself, most representative of the self, ourselves, and then the higher selves coming through our smaller selves, right? So in terms of the human form, there is a higher consciousness that comes through us. And let me tell you, when you are enthusiastic about this process, that disciplined eye allows that wild mind to have access to and share that creativity that comes from you. So today I'd love for you to sit for five minutes and see what are the things that you are nurturing yourself about? What are the things that you can nurture from within yourself first and then outside of you? What are you creating? What are the thoughts, the words, and the actions that you are creating in this world for yourself, for ourselves as a collective? I'd love for you to spend five minutes on just thinking about what are you creating? How are you thinking? And nurture this area from all of these areas, thoughts, words, and actions. I wish you a fantastic day ahead, a beautiful weekend too. And I hope you remember, transform your mind and transform your life. Take care, everyone.